All right, guys, so this is a little bit of a different video. We'll be doing what's called war driving using a uh, Hack 5 Wi Fi pineapple. I have my computer up and running. I'm out in the vehicle now, about to drive around. If you're not familiar with war driving, what that is is driving around, capturing Wi Fi signals and people's networks, and having them like in a bank. You can store what's called um, SSIDs. You'll have a bank of them that you can use for future hacking projects. Again, hacking is illegal. This is just kind of demonstrating the Hack 5 and its capabilities to be able to capture Wi-Fi's just by driving around. Again, this is called war driving. Let's go ahead and get this started here. You'll notice on the Wi-Fi pineapple interface here, <clears throat> I'm on the binocular side. This is for scanning, which is your recon stage. You want to do recon driving around. Want to change this from 30 seconds. I'm going to do continuous. I'm going to go ahead and hit scan. And I'm gonna drive around some businesses around here just kind of see what it picks up. And you'll see the list here in a second. It'll start to populate under SSIDs. So go ahead and we'll drive around and see what we can find here. This is just kind of to demonstrate to you guys how often like Wi-Fi gets picked up and seen by other people. Even people trying to use a hidden network, <clears throat> it can also be picked up. It'll just say hidden network. So just hiding your SSID alone isn't enough to keep you guys safe from somebody trying to hack your Wi-Fi, just so you know. It is a good step to hide your SSID, but on top of that, you need a really good, strong password. You know, multiple characters, uh, multiple special characters, just something really long, make it harder for you know hackers like me that we have a hard time getting in or if you're a hard target we'll move on to the next one you're not going to continue wasting time trying to get into something when we could easily hit maybe an open network or uh, one with a simple password so like i said we're driving around a few businesses here you can tell we've already captured 113 wi-fi points that have showed up so some of this i will edit out in the video just to kind of not show the location of where I'm driving around to cause any issues with any businesses or local Wi-Fi addresses that belong to people's houses here as well. So, again, guys, like I said, war driving in itself is legal. It's just what you do with information is when you cross that line to make it illegal. So, if you kept, capture somebody's Wi-Fi uh, SSID and then that's all you do and you just know the name you're not doing anything with it that's fine but the minute you start trying to break into it crack their password or anything like that and gain access then you've therefore crossed an illegal side of things so which will get you in trouble still riding around i'm gonna go through uh one of the neighborhoods here in the area just to see how much wi-fi we pick up like personal accounts and then we'll see who has open networks, pre-shared keys. We're at 136 right now. And we're only about three and a half minutes into the video. So, again, I'm using the Wi-Fi pineapple for this. You can use um, alpha adapters that are made for this. They do the same thing. They offer, like, monitor mode and injection. So, you can do Wi-Fi injection to do the de authentication um, to capture handshakes. I'm just running a passive scan. I'm not doing anything to capture any handshake or anything like that to try to crack this is just to demonstrate the concept of war driving so there's also a term called war chalking which is kind of similar but it's people would use actual chalk to mark places like their wi-fi and stuff like that so so we're just driving through on the neighborhoods here we are at 172 uh, networks it looks like so far that we've picked up and I only have the 2.4 gigahertz antennas on the Wi-Fi pineapple. Currently, I don't have the 5G ones adapter on there. So, 2.4 has a uh, longer travel range than 5 gigahertz does. So, I think 2.4 is a little better to pick up a lot more than trying to do 5 gigahertz unless I'm just really trying to narrow down, you know, targets that are within range, like really close to where I'm at. So... Alright guys, I have, looks like, over 300 SSIDs so far. 
and my Wi-Fi pineapple was just laying in the seat next to me. It's like not on the dash or anything like that, where it would pick up even more of them, would imagine. So once I'm back, I'm gonna add a little bit to this video and kind of show you how the Wi-Fi pineapple gets set up for this and go from there. So, all right guys, we'll continue back here on the computer. All right, as you guys can see, I'm back here for my war driving exercise. I'm inside the Wi-Fi pineapple interface like the GUI. I'm gonna slide down here. So after ending my video, I got home, started looking at the information that I pulled. And you can see here that I found 1,440 SSIDs just from driving around. I think I drove around maybe 12, 13 minutes, something like that. So, and I've switched this on security just to do flip it to the open ones first just kind of like least insecure to most secure i'm not going to go through all these but i will kind of scroll through uh you can also have the mac addresses blocked out and some of the names will be blocked out as well this is just for protection of people that have their wi-fi exposed i don't want to cause any kind of dos issues for anybody but as we scroll through you'll notice like these are all hidden networks and i was saying earlier just because you hide your network doesn't mean people still can't see it so if you notice like you know, it's sure it's blurred out, but here in this area is going to be the MAC address. And with that MAC address, I can do deauthentication attacks against your Wi Fi access point and deauth your clients and work on capturing the handshake when they reconnect. Once I capture that handshake, I can try to crack your password offline using something like Hashcat with a word list such as like Rock U or one that I've made myself. So we'll scroll through here, we'll get past these hidden networks that are all open. And you'll start to see some of these names coming in, like this one, Bedroom Speaker, is open. Um, I seen one a minute ago, I just wanted to talk to you guys about, was it the Firestone? This is Firestone, this is a tire shop that's in the area. Then you have HP Print, this is printers that are open Wi-Fi. They may be subject to what's called Print Nightmare, which is an exploit that you can run. You guys can research that. But the one I was looking for, I think it was something with a thermos. Yeah, here it is. New thermostat. So this is somebody's thermostat at their house that they have that's open on the Wi-Fi. You're like, so what does that matter? Well, with that thermostat, if I can gain access to that, I can turn up your heat, turn up your air, turn it off. I mean, all kinds of wreak havoc on it just to mess with somebody if I want it to. Um... The good thing with this Wi-Fi pineapple by Hack5 is like any of these networks that you select, like I even have like Starbucks Wi-Fi here, I can click on this. You'll notice it pops up, view tag parameters, view security information, add SSD, whatever. But you'll see here, deauthenticate, deauthenticate all clients. So what this does is when you click this button, it's going to send a deauth to kick all the clients off the network. And the reason that you would do that is so that when they reconnect, you capture the handshake, like I was saying a few minutes ago, to try to capture the password. You could also do a lot of deauthentication, like back to back to back to back, to kind of cause like a DDoS situation where nobody could access the network. So, which again, guys, is illegal, but there is that possibility. Like I said, I was just driving around. I wasn't really close to any one particular place. And like I said, the Wi-Fi pineapple was in my front passenger seat like it wouldn't open the window like trying to really pick anything up or strengthen the signal like I said that little bit of driving at times you know over 1400 Wi-Fi SSIDs that I could attempt to penetrate and crack a password about so just kind of want to demonstrate what war driving is some of the uses of hack 5 um, I'll do another video eventually showing like what else you can do with these SSDs like doing like an evil twin attack and Having people connect to you and do like a man in the middle to capture their credentials or direct them to a malicious website or whatever you want to do with it along those lines. But that's coming here in the near future, so be sure to check back for that. Like I said, this is just a demonstration of Hackfy's Wi-Fi pineapple capabilities as far as war driving. Thank you guys for watching.